What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something very, very different than uh, anything that I have done before. Right now we are in a modded version of Friday the 13th, the game, uh, which is exclusively offline. So I'll never use any of this online, have no intention of ever doing that. I just want to be able to show off some cool things to you guys. And, you know, while there are a lot of Grendel walkthroughs on YouTube, I've always wanted to be able to go through myself and explore and just kind of break down every little thing bit by bit. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Inside of this modded version of the game, there's a sandbox mode, and right here we have Grendel. So we're going to jump into Grendel. And we're going to walk through and just take a look at what could have been. Of course, this is going to be a very unfinished version of the map. The lawsuit came in and cut him off in the middle of this development. So it's a pretty broken version of the map. But we'll still be able to point out some really cool things. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's just dive right in and check out Grendel. All right, so here we are. We're clearly in some sort of dormitory area. I don't have a map, so let me see if I can actually find one. And there we go. Convenient as can be. If we're looking at the map, you can see there's one part of the ship that's completely just destroyed. It looks like there were explosions, which we already know does happen in Jason X. Uh, I thought that this would be here. I don't know if it was part of the game where it gets destroyed in the middle of the game or it's just not there the entire time. There are several different layouts here. You actually see a car logo up top. That, I'm assuming, would have been some sort of spaceship. You're obviously not going to be driving the car around on the map, but... That part is definitely unfinished. We have a weapons area, it seems. Down here, you can actually see a symbol that uh, reflects the spaceship that comes in and saves them. Uh, so I'm assuming this is actually something you could use. This is probably your legitimate police escape. And then there's just some stuff I don't know. This is probably your weapons. This is probably a laboratory area. Who knows what this is, and then who knows what this is. So we're just going to explore, and we'll figure out what's what as we go. All right, so first, if you come down here, this is probably where you would have found the sweater for the map. You know, I do think there would have been another way to kill a Jason, but clearly based on what we're seeing here, this would have been one of the ways you could go find the sweater and kill a Jason. Although none of this is accessible over here, you can see that it's there and uh, who knows where this would have led to but based on what we see on the map that area that's the destroyed area of the map so right now it's not accessible and I'm not sure if at any point it was but here it is not now as we go down the hall here uh, first of all I'm down with with what we're seeing here I know there's some unfinished textures obviously but this is, does look pretty awesome. It would have been so interesting to play this game exclusively inside like this. So in here, it looks like this is where we have our phone. And this would be your space shuttle type thing. Here's the spaceship itself, the top of it. I'm not sure, is there a door to get inside anywhere? There is not. But here's where your phone is. So this is how you would have called for help. I don't think it would have actually been a phone fuse like this, but I'm just saying. It's there if we need it, but ultimately you get the point. This is kind of where you would have had your quote-unquote police escape. Nothing else really in this room, but there is another door. Let's see where this thing leads. Uh, this just looks like another hallway entrance. So you go down, there's a lot to explore here. I think this would have been a bit of a maze playing in, uh, in, playing in the game. Up here, we got our other stairwell. It's hard to really tell because the textures aren't here, but I think this may have been where the screw kill happens in Jason X. Uh, that would have been uh, pretty brutal to see as well. And I do believe that animation is somewhere. So I think they were adding that kill. But yeah, here's your uh, a neat little catwalk to explore. And you know, you could probably get tossed right off this thing by Jason, which would have been awesome to see. Before we move on to this room, let's go ahead and go back down. It's this. This looks like your. I don't. It could be a weapon area that we have here. Uh, regardless, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I think this would have been your screw right here. So you could have been tossed off from right there, right on to here. This is what ultimately would have been a huge screw, and you'd have twisted yourself down just like in the movie. I found gas. Let's take this gas. Let's see if we can actually repair the car that's on the map. All right. So now we're gonna move on out of this room. Here we got a nice stairwell. Brings you up top, same place where the catwalk would have led to. In here, this is interesting. So this is uh, 
your one of your gateways to the other part of the ship. This looks like there's just beds in here. I, I can't tell what this part of the map actually would have been, but we'll go ahead and take a look real quick. Yeah, it just looks like this is where you'd have been sleeping if you were a student on the Grendel. Several different rooms here. Pretty much no textures complete over here. Just a whole lot of green space. But the walls are up. Now, we had, this is the edge of the ship here. I don't know if this door would have ever actually opened or not. But from what we can see here, it doesn't appear so. But this could have been some sort of weird emergency exit. It could have even been used for a kill. Who knows? There's also an upstairs area of this part of the map. If we go in here, we probably lead to another long hallway. Indeed, it does. There's so much to explore here. This map is bonkers. I mean, if you look at just the map itself, every little tube here, I mean, it can be walked through. So there, there's so much going on. If we go to the yellow side of the map, again, this is just a, a typical bedroom area where your students would have been staying on the Grendel. Very nice to st see. Still sneaking in that uh, that cabin feel that we know and love from the game while still being in Grendel, which is interesting. Now we'll go to our blue side of the map. And it's the same thing, just a dormitory area. So we have a different hallway here in the blue side. This is still part of the your bedrooms. Let's go on here. Some of these textures were done, and they do look pretty nice, if I do say so myself. One thing I'd be really curious, just based on how tiny these hallways are, it would have been really interesting to see how more footer works and how effective it would have been, how accurately you could land in a hallway that you wanted to land in. I imagine you could only go into big rooms as Jason when it comes to morph. All right, let's go back to the middle side of the map. There's still plenty to explore here. Now here, Hard to tell where we even are from the movie here. This could be where all the soldiers met up uh, before they went and took out Jason. And it's hard to tell without any textures in here. And now here, there's that outside part of the world again, but this time we're up on the catwalk. But you can come down and explore from here if you'd like. Now I want to head up a little bit higher. I would like to see the car part of the map. Now, this one should be very recognizable. They were quite a ways deep in this terms of this part of the map. Here we have a creepy Vanessa with no hair with the heart punch there. But yeah, this is where the whole ant situation happens, you know? Jason falls on this table, it breaks, the ants save him, and there we go, we get Uber Jason. Uh, this room, pretty iconic from the movie. And they were a long ways, they were quite a ways deep into this room, and it looks pretty good. It would have been really interesting to see the opening animation that play out when you play on this map. I don't know if it would have included this table and having Jason rise from it or what, but I don't know. This is uh, this is pretty neat though, for sure. Okay, now from here we're gonna keep heading up. The car area is up here, and here's your car. Now, <laughs> it looks like you straight up would have built a spaceship. As you can see by the logo that's underneath the car, while it's it's kind of hard to see on this part of the map, but if you look at the mini map, it looks like you straight up would have built a spaceship. Right now, you just got a car placeholder here, but yeah, you'd have just flown that sucker right out this door. It looks like, and I I doubt when you got out there, you'd have kept driving. Maybe you would have. Yeah, I don't know. But it's really interesting to think that you actually, in Friday the 13th of the game, may have driven a spaceship. It's just insane. But yeah, now we're going to go ahead and try to get that car repaired. I'm going to try to find the battery, try to find the keys. I'm curious if we can fly out of this thing. But as for a hole with the map, that's pretty much it. Uh, we just have to check out this car and see if we can do anything with it. So we've repaired the phone, but there's nowhere to really... Uh, call at least not that i'm seeing right now i'll keep exploring and see if i can find something but right now i i don't see a way to actually make the call aha we have found a radio so oh and the battery so this is where you'd call in km i guess is anyone there and of course 
This we'll is go not uh, a fix prank. the car. We still got to find need keys your though. Help. We also, I just found the phone here, which is really interesting. This, I mean, this is a completely other part of the map. We we fixed the phone here, but here is where we found the phone. So that's uh, that's interesting to to say the least. But we'll see what happens when the police arrive. It let me do the call itself. Uh, you know, it's interesting because I don't know. Based on the fact that we could see this symbol here, that means we'd always know where the fuse box is going to be or the police were going to be. So calling them, I'm not sure how that changes anything. But maybe that's why the phone is so far away from the actual fuse box itself. All right, so the cops just showed up. Apparently, we're pretty close to them. Okay, so the cops are right here. So this is where you ultimately go through the... The escape portal, and I just did, I guess. So there you go. That's that's your police escape. It's uh, it's that easy. Couldn't find the keys. I, I swear to God, I checked a thousand drawers and couldn't find them. But I don't know if I'm just really unlucky or they're just not there. So uh, literally on the first drawer I opened when reloading the map, I found the keys. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab these keys and see if we can find the other parts of the car again. Hope I'm doing this right. All right, we have officially fixed up the car again. Now, just a reminder, I cannot run through here as a person, but we're gonna see what happens when you start the car, if the game will automatically end. I'm doing this just out of pure curiosity. What would have happened if we started the spaceship? Uh, okay. So car started. Get out of here. Invisible wall is gone. We, yeah, so you. We're straight up going to fly this thing. Now, we're still in a tunnel right now. Let's see if, if it goes any further. We can only turn so far. It's a, just a narrow tunnel. And I'm not sure if at some point... Oh, now we just fell off the map. And that's that. But if you wanted to look at Grendel from underneath the map, this is your opportunity. Okay, so based on what we're seeing here just from underneath the map, it looks like that entire side of the map was not designed at all. All it is is the fake hologram of the virtual or the, well, the quote-unquote virtual cabins that we see out here with the moon and whatnot. So this entire part of the ship that was originally in Grendel is just not going to be there at all if this map would ever happen. So, yeah, there you go. It's just those two sides of the map and then the holographic area where you can probably find the shack and grab the sweater so that is grendel i hope you guys enjoyed this video i've always wanted to walk through it myself so i'm glad i got the opportunity to do so here i hope you enjoyed it as well if that's your first time seeing it let me know what, what were your thoughts on that the uh driving the car escape appears to be very simplistic you would just go drive down a tunnel maybe that's not the case but those invisible walls were put there for a reason so i feel like that's what that was for it gives Jason an opportunity to try and stop the car, but really you still can't stop and you know, move the spaceship or anything like that. It would have been really interesting to see, though. I'd love to see a more complete version of the map, but as you and I both know, it's probably never going to happen. But hey, that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.